Did you really think, sir, it was going to take more than oh four minutes God. before I got a camera in your face? Wow. Did you really you think go. so? You show up to the World Series poker. You said, don't count on me this year for fantasy. And look at you. Here I am. Ready for work. Right. Well, I didn't count on you. Nobody knows nothing about fantasy. How would fantasy. you get paid to do this? Buddy, you have no idea. I mean, I still got Looking it. lean. Looking all right. All right, we'll see you. Okay, heads up. All the killers. Here we go. I've been going up now. See the top going down. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day here in Las Vegas. Uh, I gotta be honest, it's not the same without the puppies here to wake up to and cuddle and whatever, but they're over at Patty's house having a sleepover. Um, we're on our way here to make some pancakes. We're gonna use a Vital Wheat and Vital Wheat Vital Glue Wheat and chickpea flour mix with some chia seed, um, and then we'll cover it with some berries, some of that maple syrup, some whipped cream. Like I said, man, desserts for breakfast. That's what's up. Other thing we're doing this year, okay? I wanted to share. So let's try a little counter in the corner if we can. Do a little ding, ding, ding. Okay. What I'm doing this year is I'm gonna be just. I've never done this before. But I thought, why not? Let's keep track. Let's be, you know, accountable for how we're playing. So we're going to count all of our mistakes from the tournaments and we're going to log them. All right. 25K, no limit, hold them. Six max, folding queen, jack of diamonds uh, to a Freddy shove. So the mistake is, uh, you know, not gambling when I'm supposed to. $1,500 dealer's choice. I made a mistake with my draw choice. I don't know how the fuck I did this with a three, four, five, uh, six hand in uh, deuce to seven made a mistake there just a bonehead fart move so that's two mistakes now one ding two ding all right number three mistake number three was the 5k plo just not check raising that asian player who i know has nothing and just going for it you know not taking the spot i looked them up i'm like the guy's bluffing i got three people behind me they can never call a check raise didn't do it didn't pull the trigger mistake number three mistake number four was the hand i lost against cherish i should have folded the turn Got a little sloppy. Top pair, straight draw, blah, blah, blah. But uh, who cares? Board was paired. Just get the hell out of the play. So, four events in, four mistakes that are clear. I'm sure there's probably some small ones here and there, of course. But, you know, we're going to focus on the big ones um, and clean it up, right? All right. So, today we got the 25K heads up, no limit. We'll talk about that in the driving video. In the meantime, let's make some cakes. All right. If you're ever doing diets or stuff like that, one of these guys is very helpful. For weighing stuff, making sure you're on it. Not like we're on a diet. Now we're on the opposite of a diet. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we got our trusty Vital Wheat gluten. We're gonna take 30 grams of that. There you go, almost there. 30 grams, okay. And then we're gonna get some chickpea flour. Another 30 grams of that. 30 grams, okay. We're gonna add some chia seeds. Typically use about chia seeds. This is a good, good healthy thingy. 66, nice, gives it, it actually like it in the pancakes. It gives it a little something, something. And then we're gonna add, where do we got our bacon powder? Bacon powder, where's the damn bacon powder? Okay, we're gonna add about five grams of the baking powder. go that helps it get fluffy that's what you want with a good paint and then it's up to you how uh, you know watery you want them or whatever but we do about a hundred uh grams of water uh, maybe a little more than that maybe a little more than that just to make them a little bigger here we go all right then you can add some flavoring whatever you want to do next step is going to be to just take that bowl and just like you would chop chop you know Mix it up, make yourself a nice batter. All right, IMO, the key to a fluffy pancake is you want to cover it. So we got this pan heated. Oh boy, is it ever. All right, and then we're going to take these right here and we're going to make big, well, probably two. 
nice big circles. Get it out there, make them pretty. Shit, is that on fucking high heat? Oops. <laughs> All right. Get that in there, flatten out a little bit. And then, again, this, this cover idea, saw this online one time, made a lot of sense, and it works. All right, we're gonna do that to about two, three minutes on each side. Or if you want your berries, if you want your berries to last, I saw this on Instagram, Nature the Cure. You put them in one of these jars right there, they stay nice and fresh for long periods of time. I'm a mason jar guy now, look at that. Mason jars, put your berries in a jar, seal it up, perfect. We're gonna do this and this after they're done. Chop some of those up, good to go. All right, it's been about a couple, two minutes on one side. Look at that, they're already nice and fluffy. Let's flip them over, see how they look. Oh, that look, they sort of stuck together, that's all right. Oh shit, oops, the fucking thing was on high. That's all right, whatever. <laughs> that's never happened to me before, ever, ever, ever. Of course I film it and I get a little bit of a burn on the back, but it's okay, I like a little burn on the back, that's what she said. And the finished product, a little bit of maple syrup, strawberries, and our favorite, whipped cream. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the shoe of the day. These are Creative Rex as well. I told you I love this brand. These come off, interestingly enough. I've had these for quite a long time, some high tops, they're fun. We got the chessboard here. And check, this, this is a little, this, this is like some top secret stuff. This is an OG copy, okay? Gentleman Jack Newton, a gambler's gambler. I'm doing something with this book. This is the original, 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 script from the guy who wrote it and i'll tell you all about that when it comes out but it's gonna blow your mind all right so it is 11 15 in the a.m starts at noon but doesn't because the draw starts at noon and who knows what so we're playing twenty five thousand dollar buy-in heads up no limit hold'em um now it's, it's a 64 player cap it really shouldn't be as far as i'm concerned you can have heads up tournaments it doesn't have to be clean i used to play pool tournaments when i was a teenager and you just you know it's the buy system is very easy you can do it one of two ways you can just simply let randomness be randomness and like if you get the luck of the draw and you get a buy you get a buy if not so be it or what you can do is you can sort of like the people that don't get a buy you can do a play-in so if the buy-in is 25k they get 12.5 back and they play and the winner is in essentially right no play -in. all right so uh what else are we going to talk about all right we got Ted's Up, which I played a good amount. You know, I just played Eric Person on the uh, High Stakes Duel. I played, of course, the legendary matches against Phil, and then I played against Doug Polk. Um, and so I've, you know, I've got a decent amount of work on my Heads Up. This is gonna be a tough one to win. You know, it's not gonna be a piece of cake, easy peasy. That you gotta win like six matches in a row. And you know, Heads Up is just a lot of variance. It's tough to like go six and zero. Listen, you go five and one, you don't win. That's it's, you know, I mean, that's a pretty good record, five and one. So only one can win. We'd like to be that guy. We're gonna give it our all strategically. It's so dependent upon who we play, how we choose to go. If we somehow, which is unlikely, play, you know, a weaker style, weaker style player, we will small ball grind them out. You know, we're not gonna take big risks. We'll just, all right, if he makes big bets, he can win. It's fine, we'll just win, you know, we'll win, we'll win in the trenches. Now, if we are playing against the killer, one of the crushers, we will have to throw punches. The best defense is a good offense. So we will have to fire in the hole. Just like, look, look at this. Contenders clothing, by the way. See that? Look at that. That's cool, huh? I like that. I've had this one for a while. Contenders clothing. I got some cool stuff to tell you about with contenders clothing coming up pretty soon. But we got some new stuff coming out. It's not for a few more days, but uh, I'm excited about it. And yeah, so we're gonna play. The backup is the $1,500 stud. I gotta tell you, man. I know like, the 1500s get five, 600 players or whatever, which is good, maybe more in some cases. But man, they're a grind because the structures are so slow. Like it takes forever to get the money and whatnot. But I still play them when available. Sometimes I wonder if I should just skip them entirely and just play, you know, the 10Ks from the start. But we want to give ourselves maximum opportunities. But if I were to play the stud, which we won't because we're going to win the two heads up matches today, it would be a late reg very late maybe max because why not all right off to the races we go did you really think 
Did little you little really little think, little. sir, it was going to take more than oh four minutes God. before I got a camera in your face? Wow. Did you really think go. so? You show up to the World Series of Poker, you said, don't count on me this year for fantasy. Look at you. Here I am. Ready for work. Right. Well, I didn't count on you. Chidwick's another one. I thought you were supposed to be doing visa issues. Me? Yeah. You're not like, you got visa problems or whatever? Are you deported? Uh, I don't think so. What the fuck, man? Nobody knows nothing about fantasy. How much fantasy. you get paid to do this? Buddy, you have no idea. All the, uh, millions, just for this one video. You want to chop it? You want to go half half? Maybe yeah, we'll get a camera following you around like before. Huh? What have you been doing, Phil? Live? Everybody wants to know. People want to know. What's going on, Phil? <laughs> Let me see this. What's going on here? He's still strong? Yeah, he's doing good. Looking lean. Looking all right. All right, we'll see you. Okay, heads up. All the killers. Here we go. We got a rematch for Mr. Phil Ivey. He's playing against John Smith. How'd you do against John Smith last time, Phil? Pretty sure I lost. Pretty sure he lost. All right. We have on record at table 144, it says Bin Wang, but apparently he's still in something else. So that means they may uh, give me somebody different. I don't know. All right. It's a heads up tournament. So we got a bunch of people I've never seen before, oh, never yeah. seen before. Oh, I saw this guy had a oh. thing. He had pocket aces. The other guy had an ace and a jack. Oh, the other guy bet all his money and you went wah, wah. Spade, I fold. Heart, I, we do it again. I'm not picking. You have to pick. I have to pick? Okay. Okay. Spades, spades will fold. This is amazing. Fold. Show him. <laughs> How many guys has bluffed up a million? That's true. That was pretty strong that you actually randomized it though. For a million bucks. Bravo. Well, good luck, people. There we go. We're gonna steal. I'm st I'm gonna steal his blinds. I don't care. <laughs> All right, everyone is playing except me. This happened in the 25K6 Max as well. And uh, it's an early test on our patience because you know how I work with this stuff. I got patience when I'm playing poker. I can fold hands, stuff like this, watching everyone play, you know, when the time is ticking, fast levels. I'm not getting a chance to play. It's frustrating, but, you know, sometimes this stuff happens. Apparently, Bin Wang is uh, still in another event, so that means I'll get an alternate, I think. But I gotta wait five minutes. And in, But if five minutes shows up, I'm stealing those blinds. We're dealing them in. I don't know. I'll figure this out. I had to go drag the guy. He's hanging around. We're, 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 we're got burn, blinds burning. You, did you bust the PLO? Yeah. So Fine. let's gamble. Let's go all in. Come on. Have a seat. That's nice been Wang. Let's go. Drafted in the fantasy. This is our opponent for the day. Good luck, everybody. Okay, I'm all in. Ah, he folded. Never mind. All right. So I think we're in trouble here. I bet the flop, he raised, we're gonna get in, he's short. So I call, all in, good luck. You have eight? Yeah. yeah. I have back doors with my queens. <laughs> okay, 10 or a queen. All right, double him up. Nice hand, sir. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we raise the button, he three bet, I'm all in. 20 seconds. He, ca he calls? Aces. Really? No. No. <laughs> Aces. I was like, wow, okay. Queens against nines. Here we go. There's a queen. Diamond at least. Yeah, you got up back doors. Nope. All right. Cheers. Good game, Good game man. You. Cheers. Nice Good you. luck in the next one. Thank you. I think one of these two will be next. Next on the agenda. Here we go. Okay, so here's the deal, people. We got a little break now. Early, uh, we finished in about an hour. Got them up. Uh, Good ran very hot against Ben. He's a good player. Um, had it most of the time. I, mean, I only ran one real bluff. We're going to talk about, I think we have one hand breakdown to discuss. I think we have one. Um, and then we're going to, then we may actually, and I'm not even kidding, we have a restart at 5 p.m. Okay. Considering, considering in the meantime, because it's like, what time is it? One o'clock. Considering dropping a stack in that old mystery bounty thing, right? Try to spin it. Um, Restart at five. I think that's the play, actually, because they go on dinner break. I'm going to take a look when we get in, and we'll look at the particulars. But uh, we'll do a hand breakdown. We'll do the things. We're on to round two. Um, so, yeah, feeling good. All right, so good start. Uh, for those of you that don't know Ben Wang, he's a very good player. He's been crushing it. He was just a chip leader at, like, two final tables at the same time on the WBT. So, uh, you know, even though he's not a big name or something like that, that wasn't one that I'm like, oh, oh, this is going to be easy. But it ended up being that because... I had a lot of hands. It was not some, you know, wow, look at me. But we got one hand breakdown. Let's share. 
lines are, we start with about 150,000 each in chips, okay? So you guys always, oh, what's the stack sizes, DNX? The stack sizes, I gotta have the stack. Okay, you got the stack sizes. Four and 800 blinds were on the button. Picked up the seven of clubs, four of clubs. Pretty standard, open. This was level two, actually. So I opened for 2K, two and a half bigs. This is very common for my uh, heads up strategy to use two and a half opens on the button with the majority of my range at that stack depth. He calls. Now the flop is nice. Flop is four of hearts, 10 of clubs, five of clubs. We got a pair and a flush draw and a backdoor straight draw and all kinds of things. This is a good spot, right? Um, we like it, you know? This is one you could essentially get it in in a lot of spots. So uh, he checks. I go ahead and bet half pot. I bet 2,000 again. He check raises me to 8,700. So first decision, do we decide to re-raise, get it in here? If you re-raise, get it in, you're rarely going to be in good shape. You're probably going to be up against two pair that wants to get it in or a set, which is also possible. So um, despite the fact that the hand has really good equity against just a 10, you know, it's pretty dead. I mean, not dead, but it's in trouble. It's just a flush draw against any hand that gets it in. So I don't think that's the play. I think the call is right. So we just call. Now the turn is a deuce of hearts. So it fills an ace three. It fills a three six, brings back door hearts, which is also a very theoretical possible hand for him to check raise and uh, barrel if he does. That's why when he bets 21,300, which is almost full pot, we elect to call. We've got the pair working. We've got the flush draw working. Could have the best hand. Um, see what he does on the river, right? And if we weather, we make a hero call with just a four. Call. River is the queen of clubs. We make the flush. He checks. We're value betting here. Question is, how much? How much? What are we targeting, right? If we're targeting two pairs. We're targeting a 10, something along those lines. If you're, what, do, what, what do we get paid on? A little what is like about 60k pot. I go for a little more than half. I bet 35,000. He thanked, think for he thunk for he, he thunk for a while. He thunk for a while and he called me with a 10. So that was a good way to get started. He gave me the chip lead and I was able to just kind of cruise from there. Like I said, made a lot of hands. So now break till five o'clock. Let me uh, figure out the particulars. I'm gonna make a sandwich. Still got some no butcher pastrami. I'm gonna make another uh, one of them. Nice little lunch and then uh, figure it out. Okay, we put it together. I had a little moment, ate our sandwich, I got my lamp, I got some extra pillows, some lemons, some stuff for sandwiches, whatever. But we also figured out the plan for today, and this may shock you, but we're doing it. It's early to talk about player of the year race, but we wanna do it, and this is a good day to give it a shot, playing in one of them kooky, crazy, big field events. Reason being is this, they will go. They will come back from break at 2.40, it is 1.40 now, that gives us one hour, right? No sense showing up now and they go to break anyway. So at, what did I say, 2.40, we will be commence play, and we will play until 4.40. We'll play two hours, there's one rebuy if necessary, which it might be because we plan to gamble. And whatever stack we have at five o'clock, we just leave it as though it doesn't exist. You know, whatever, just out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, let it ante off, you know. It's only one case, you know, we can afford that. And uh, then we go play our heads up match at five o'clock, okay? If we need to, you know, if we, we, if we, any, if, if we, let's say the match lasts like two hours full, so we go to seven, that's okay. They go on break at seven. Okay. So that means I'll any off for two hours, whatever, say la vie. And then, um, once I finish my heads up match, I can close it out at, uh, 8 15 in the mystery bounty. Uh, play that out for another, what would that be? Another hour and a half or something like that, or two, three hours. Bing, bang, boom. Okay, and then the restart for that wouldn't be till June 4th at 10 a.m. <laughs> you know what happens in a 10 a.m.? <laughs> 10 a.m. means that's our nice bed. I'll tell you, and by the way, just so you know, the beautiful people here at the Paris, they did let me know that I could get a room if necessary at last minute. Um, but yeah, this, this worked out really well, so we'll see. We shall see, ladies and gentlemen, we shall see. Okay, so we, we may have just made a grave mistake. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. So, people lining up over there, that's for late reds, okay? They're going all the way over here. Going all the way over here. They keep going, they keep going. Look at that, all these people, look at this. They want me to go, look at this, look at this. Love what you do. Do a chat and cut? Should I do a chat and cut? Look at this, this is to get in for late reds. Are you kidding me? This ain't gonna happen, I'm voiding this game. There's no way I'm playing this game. Look at this, this, this would be me right here. Okay, let's look at where late reds is. It's way over there, man. All the way around the bend. 
I only got two hours. It'll take two hours to get in, right? All right, I'm avoiding this one. See y'all, good luck though. Bounty, bounty, get him. All right, since we are officially not gonna be playing the mystery bounty, we're gonna check out GG Poker, Club GG, Platinum Lounge. Looky here, fancy schmancy. Look at that there, huh, for all the superstars. Hello, here we go. Oh, it's loud in here, huh? Ooh, very nice though. Am I too loud? I'm sorry, were you guys taking a nap? Are you guys all napping? This is the World Series of Poker, get excited. Who's this guy? Oh, one of our horsies. What he's doing in here? This is great. It's a fucking library, man. Relax. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's going playing? on? Huh? What well, playing? I'll tell you in a sec. Let me turn this off. All right. Nap complete. Feeling good. Ready to get this done. Feeling better and better as we go, frankly. Oh. See what happens when I nap? Zerk, Cowlicks, whatever. Who cares? About to play Roberto Perez. Don't know much about him, but uh, I got a little bit of info. We'll do our best. I got some ideas. Let's go. Our new table of four. That's Isaac Kempton. No, that's we're Daniel not Negreanu. playing him. Daniel Negreanu behind yep. the camera. What's your name, bud? Frankie. Frankie. Okay, we're just going to go with Frankie. Yeah. So Frankie's playing Ike. Isaac, sorry. And I'm playing Roberto Did I say that right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Here we go. 300K to start. Oh, gracias. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, we're all in. My friend here has been killing me. We have a pair of eights. He's got a king and a jack. Okay, there's a flop right there. I got a set. He's got an open ender. That's a fun flop. All right, we double up. Let's count it. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor. Click the subscribe button down below. All right, we battled back, we battled back, and then we got in with this stupid hand against that stupid hand. Here we go, now we need a five where we got problems. There's a nine. That's gonna be hard. Oh, hearts, I have a flush draw. Oh, that was almost there. All right, good game, man. GG, good luck in the next round. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, well, you know, listen. Tough opponent, we looked like we were in, in good shape because we were down to 40 or something, and then I got it all the way back over 230. So we're in good shape. The blinds get really big, right? And these things, so you have to kind of like, you know, put the foot on the gas a little bit. Um, I opened with fives. He three bet. And I'm where at the stack tapes now where it's really not. It's, hey, it's not. did your thing though, bro. You was in there for a minute. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. So uh, it's not really a spot where you're getting a lot of value to like sort of set mine or whatever. So um, yeah. once I make it 12, he makes it 42. I've got like, I don't know, 170 or so. Felt like a ship. You know, a lot of times we'll get it in in a flip where I have fives against whatever. And I guess if you think of the number of combo, I don't, I don't even know that he raises like sixes and sevens, right? So if we factor that in, that he's not, let's say, let's just say he has eights plus and uh, well, he's got eights plus and a, the hands that beat us is eights plus. So that's eight, nine, 10, jack, queen, king, ace is seven times six. So there's 42 combos. But have us dead. Um, there's a whole bunch more of ace king, ace queen, and other bluffs the, that uh, we're either flipping against or he just folds and we pick up a nice pop. So I'm okay with the play. I'll think about it a little more and you know decide if I made a mistake. I don't think so. I'm playing about what are we, like 30 bigs, 40 bigs deep, something like that. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's close. I'm gonna think about it a little more. And then we'll probably jump in to the 1500 stud late range. Okay, had a moment in the think tank to decide. Did we make a mistake or not? Do we feel like we made a mistake? Whatever, it doesn't matter what other people think. Do we think we made a mistake? That's how we're basing it, right? And I'm gonna say no, we did not. I broke it down a little bit, right? Obviously, you know, folding, we don't wanna fold, right? Because we have a pair, heads up, right? Uh, calling kind of sucks because of the stack depth, which leaves jamming right so why are we jamming i did a little bit i mean i just wrote it down for whatever in my phone here so so it, let's say he had sixes plus right i don't think he always does but let's say he has sixes sevens all the way up that's 54 combos okay how do you figure that out six seven eight nine ten you know anyway so 54 combos have his dead four to one right so we're really in bad shape in those spots but let's say the hands he's going to three bet call off with are there more combos of that yes right let's just give him 
let's say ace 10 plus let's say he's calling with all of his ace 10 plus that's a whopping of that's a whopping total of 80 combos right i don't know if he's going to call with ace 9 suited ace 8 suited but we'll just give him the ace 10 as a result so there's 80 combos we're flipping against now the real juice of this whole thing is there's you know there's nine big blinds in that pot which is a lot considering you know i only have 30 um all of his bluffs kind of have to fold right so let's say he had you know like ace little you know some sort of like king x suited king or off suit or if he's just you know three betting like you know queen jack suited king jack suit maybe even some of those he calls off with which is fine because we are flipping against those but overall overall i think i think it's i mean once we just yeah i really don't see a way out i don't like i'm trying to think like is there a way like what just fold to the three bet call the three bet see a flop kind of thing it just feels like it's I guess you could in theory. I mean, I think the worst play is fold of the three. And then probably second worst is call and best is jam. And that's what we did because, you know, but who knows? Maybe tonight I'll change my mind, but I'm pretty sure that that is good. And like, the other key factor is he's a good player. It wasn't like he's, uh, you know, some sucker. And also the blinds just go up really, really quickly. So you can't just like wait for wait for a better spot. Your head's up. There's nowhere to hide. So we're going to chill here. It is now 7.38. I think late reg closes at 8.45 for the stud. So we're just going to do a max. Like we said, the 1,500 stud, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to max late reg, 8.45. Hang out in here and eat junk food till then. All right, hold on a minute. Yeah, well, I'm in a stud tournament. What? Hey, what's going on today? Today, Alex? Alex. tournament and... Uh, John Dave was ripping on me, and now I don't have the chip leader, but I'm still pretty good. What else you got for There's us? a couple outside, if you can get them on the thing. They gave me a mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A. It was unbelievably good. Excellent. How much did you pay for it? Nothing. They just said, we got you a mac and cheese. I said, that's really nice. And so they, Phil Helmet gives you $20. It's random people give you free food. Yeah. You get free clothes from people. Like, why do people love you so much? I don't know. I shouldn't have. Uh, I, I got the WSOP. This is obviously free on well, yeah, yeah. What did you pay for that's in this garb here? The shoes? No, these were given to me as a gift also. Unbelievable, man. You can do it. Could, All right. Take a look at my chips. I have a reasonable <laughs> chip. Hey, did you go see get those he, chips uh, back. Posted his chip leader? I did. I saw his it. chip leader in level yeah. seven. Use that yeah. photo on there because I had a... Which level, photo do you want? Level seven of a limit. The photo of me being the chip leader after seven levels. You were the chip leader after yeah. seven levels. How much does that pay? Two of those levels beat a double level. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be our table. We got Rampage. He's but He just asked me if I have any pointers to study. He has no idea what he's doing. You never play. I told watch my video on YouTube. It's right here. Click the link. How to play seven card stud. Yeah, but it's a 15 minute video. You're good. The link is here, right? Somewhere. I don't know. Tell the people. Put the link. Okay, we're going on break in the stud. I got 13K. 190 players left, pace 50 something. A little bit tired for some randomly. I don't know, maybe, you know, like when you play heads up, it takes a lot out of you. And uh, the 1500, the 1500 mix games, just in general, these are not priorities for me. These are events that are secondary, they're max late regers. It is what it is. I don't, I'm not heavily invested in it. Just kind of going through the motions. We got, what I say, 12, 13K, we'll be playing two and 4,000. So that gives me like three, bit, three bets. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I know some of my eyes got dry again, but I got drops to, to, to help. I just left them in the uh, thingamajigger here. So, yeah. All right. That's it. We're done. We, we grinded it. We didn't, like, here's the thing, you know? As much as, like I said, and not a priority, whatever, I didn't punt it off. Like, I had... I like there's a hand where it went jack clubs raises queen re raises. I've split kings in a four on like no chips. I three bet to six k. The jack of clubs calls. The queen calls catches a four. The jack of clubs catches a ten of clubs. I catch a deuce. I bet because I have kings. They both call. The jack ten of clubs catches the deuce of clubs. The other guy catches open fours. I only have seven k left, and all I have two kings. But I fold it. You know, I hung on to it. Seven k was like what? Fourteen antes. This is nothing. How you doing, bud? Hi. Um, but yeah, you know, so no mistakes in that one. Just didn't, you know, it is what it is. So tomorrow we have very interesting decisions. What's up, Rockhole? Talking to yourself? Yes, I'm talking to myself yeah. over there. Um, so we have very interesting decisions for tomorrow. Huh? 
we got a picture. Yeah, can you let me? I'll finish this vlog and we let's do the picture. Yeah, Get you right. Let's do the picture. Okay. The blood in. Man. Okay. Well, because I'm doing a vlog, but yeah, we can do. Okay. The you know what? Let me blood. finish the vlog first. Yeah, Hold okay. on. Okay. So I'll just finish it right here. So tomorrow we have the 10K dealer's choice. Starts at two. You can late reg till the next day. There's also a little thing called the Stanley Cup playoffs finals game one at five. So as of now, the option is, or the, the likelihood, I just love dealer's choice. It's so fun. I hate to miss it, but I won't. So what I'm gonna do is the game starts at five. We're gonna go to the game. After the game, about 8.30, come back, jump into the dealer's choice, call it a night. Anyways, speaking of calling tonight, me and my boys, where are you from? Scotland. Scotland! Scotland! Right. There we go. Yeah! I don't know. I don't got no Scottish. What language do you guys speak over there? Just, uh, just Scottish. Just Scottish. What is that? Jokanese. Jokanese. Okay. Well, that's what we're leaving you with. Jokanese. Peace, people.